Listen to the Roman Gabriel Show Real Show at RomanGabrielShow.com or wherever you listen to podcasts. Jack Youngblood here promoting Gabe on the new Roman Gabriel Show. Welcome to the Roman Gabriel Show. RomanGabrielShow.com. Anywhere you listen to your podcast and of course, you can find us on DBNA TV uh, streaming as well as on the Roman Gabriel Show podcast, syndicated radio. So you play with one of the great quarterbacks of all time, and he's still still at the top of his game, uh, Aaron Rodgers. And uh, uh, I wanted to ask you because that year you guys were, uh, you know, had an interesting regular season, closed strong, uh, had an incredible playoff run, uh, and. You know, everything just went you guys' yeah. way in that playoff run. Offensively, you guys were just unstoppable. Oh uh, yeah, it, it was just one of those things where we, we was clicking, and, and and you had you you have six receivers that can be starters in the National Football League at the time. Oh, uh, yeah, man. One, once again, man, we had you had Donald Driver, you had uh, Jordy Nelson, you had Greg Jennings, you had James Jones, myself, John Coon. And the list goes on. And the thing is, when you have a receiving core like that and you can throw the ball to anyone and a play can be made, how can you stop it? So that year, it was uh, – I say it was one of the best receiving cores on turf. There's kind of two Monday night footballs. You've got the normal Monday night football on ESPN, and then Eli and Peyton Manning are doing – a, a, you know, taking that Monday night feed from their living rooms, like where you'd be sitting right now and breaking down football. If you had a chance to see the Eli and, and Peyton show for Monday night. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, and I love it, man. They do it. They do a very, very good job of it, man. And they really funny. They really, uh, they, they get the fans involved and they get good guys on there that uh, actually, actually get the fans into it. Well, you and me both played the game, and I'll tell you, uh, I was watching last Monday night when they had Drew Brees and and, and uh, Tom Brady on, and uh, I don't know if you caught that or not, but some of the some of the inside, you know, we call it inside baseball, but it's inside football of the game inside the game. Um, the game inside the yeah, game. That's yeah, yeah. Don't, don't you think? Uh, I wanted to get your feeling for what it's like when those guys are breaking down the offensive mindset, breaking down defense, defenses, talking about silent count, talking about uh, you know third down, third down blitzes. Tell me about. Tell me about. Uh, you know, just your thoughts about just uh, you know for a fan being able to be in on that. Absolutely, uh, man. I, I love the way, especially from a quarterback uh, standpoint, you get you get the the, the nitty gritty and the very very good de- details of it because they touch the ball 100 percent of the time. They make the call 99.9 um, percent of the time. So um, hearing it from a quarterback is totally different hearing it from receivers, uh, center, or anything. But the Roman Gabriel Show. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Roman Gabriel Show. And for more exclusive video and audio archives, go to our official website at romangabrielshow.com. That's romangabrielshow.com and enjoy. Now, back to the Roman Gabriel Show. I don't know if you heard about the comment that Tom Brady made this last week about how the game's changed. He he made a comment and said that the game now is more like 7 on 7. It's all about yes. speed. Uh, you have to have a great quarterback. Um, they've really yes. taken away what you talked about. If you're a physical football team that likes to run the ball, say like the Titans, um, yes. he said he, yes. there's some throws he would never make, uh, you know, that he makes today because he knows that safeties can't hit guys coming to the inside, coming on inside cuts. He said defensive wow. linemen really can't take him on so he could hold on to the ball longer. He wasn't complaining. He was just saying that the reason why he's excelling even more than he did 15 years ago is wow. that the game has changed. Your comments, because you played at a time where it was physical football, where you could hit people in the mouth, and where you had to watch yourself going over the middle. I think twice from blowing you up, because that can be that can cost you 50000 bucks. Question with your Michael Finley right here on the Roman Gabriel Show. And, of course, you can catch us on DBNA television uh, as well as syndicated in the podcast at romangabrielshow.com. What's something about Aaron Rodgers that fans might not know that you that you can tell us about? 
Um, they, they see me always say criticism and stuff like that. I really don't give them criticism. I, I just see the game as it, as it played out. Um, so I, I don't call it necessary criticism. Uh, but, but one thing that you don't see, Aaron is one of those guys that, as you can see now, he wears, he wears his, his filling on his sleeves. And as you can see him play and, and do things, when he hear things on the outside, just be ready for Aaron to be one of those guys that light the scoreboard up. And, and uh, basically, he's been doing that the whole uh, – since week one was over, week two from then, he's been playing lights out. So he's one of those guys that he, 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 he hears everything. He, he, and, and the things – and when he does, he, he – um, So he that's, his, like that's he his greatest strength but also can be a weakness, right? Yes, yes. It can be weak. It, it, it just depends on – it just depends on where the Packers are and how things are going and – if he has um, support on 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 uh, on the inside, okay. And do you you know if you had to say based on what's going on right now, and, and uh, uh, Aaron seemed to say on the post game show last night that he's having a great time with this team, that this team is scrappy, that he really enjoys playing with this club. Do you think he's going to stay in Green Bay, or do you think maybe he's going to look to to move somewhere else? It looks like he's having really really good time, man. I think I think. Um, Anything can happen, but like I say, um, uh, staying with the Packers would be a plus for him. He might as well go out and ride out in the sunset and uh, be one of the, the Packers greats, which he, he will be. And once again, uh, keep the fans on his side and just uh, ride out with the with, with being a cheesehead. Listen to the Roman Gabriel Show, Show at RomanGabrielShow.com or wherever you listen to podcasts.